Hi there, and welcome to another of our videos exploring the work of leading contemporary economists. This video is on Paul Collier. Paul Collier is one of the most influential development economists in the world today. His work has focused mainly on government in low-income countries, understanding economic growth in sub-Saharan Africa, the economics of civil war, overseas aid, uh, the impact of globalisation and poverty. His most famous books include The Bottom Billion, which is a look at the causes of and policies to reduce extreme poverty, The Plundered Planet, a major work focusing on how the lowest income countries can avoid the natural resource trap, Wars, Guns and Votes, Democracy in Dangerous Places, The Economics of Corruption and Civil War, and most recently a book on international migration flows, Exodus. Professor Collier finds that the living standards of the world's bottom billion have basically stagnated over the past 40 to 50 years. Extreme poverty has fallen, but he identifies four development traps. These development traps were explored in his book, The Bottom Billion, and referred to again in The Plundered Planet. The four development traps are conflict, reliance on natural resources, being landlocked with bad neighbours, and poor levels of governance. Landlocked countries in particular face many challenges to integrate successfully in the global economy. Uh, without good infrastructure and efficient logistics businesses, it becomes extremely difficult and costly to get their products to markets, including to the countries of trade partners. Some landlocked countries have been doing well recently. Ethiopia is a good example, especially when they achieve regional economic integration with other landlocked nations. Paul Collier has done some extremely important work in the, on the strategies to help overcome the natural resource trap. Collier has argued in the past that although large deposits of resources such as oil and gas and copper would be considered a blessing for economic development, often those natural resources turn out to be a curse. The natural resource trap is a, is a common topic studied in development economics. He's argued that there are essentially four main strategies which might help to overcome these problems. They are firstly, better government, stronger democratic institutions and more transparency and crucially accountability of where resource rents flow to. Secondly, he advises countries if they can to set up either a stabilisation fund or a sovereign wealth fund to, to fund infrastructure, to fund critical investment in education and health. Higher taxes of natural resource profits are important, again, to fund public and merit goods. And he also argues that primarily dependent countries should look to diversify, particularly investment in processing and light manufacturing, which help these countries move up the value chain and achieve higher per capita incomes through higher productivity. Paul Collier is undoubtedly extremely important development economist. I do urge students to do more reading on his work. We recommend you Google Paul Collier or head to tutor2u.net economics topics Paul Collier for a series of articles and links to other resources.